All right, folks, welcome back. We're working on the 2017 Hyundai. It's the Santa Fe, which is also the capital of New Mexico, I believe. Needs a wheel bearing. I also think it means holy faith in Spanish. But don't take my word for it. We're gonna pop out these rotor screws, which typically you can't do with just a uh, regular screwdriver, but these brake pads here are relatively new, as well as the rotors, it looks like. These come out nice and easy. Bearing's super loud on this thing. Almost sounds like a flat tire when you're driving. It's kind of a bizarre bearing sound on this one. Let's see if I can't spread the caliper back here just a little bit. Just put the screwdriver in there between the pad and the caliper and just hold a little tension on it. They look relatively new, so I doubt they're gonna loosen up much. We're gonna give it the classic reach around 14 mil swivel. We're gonna pull the whole caliper and bracket as an assembly. Get a bolt on the top and on the bottom. I thought the swivel would help us clear the spring, but clearly not. We need a bit of an extension. Extensions murder impacts. Takes the pizzazz right out of them. See if we can't just crack it loose. Wasn't even that tight. A little bit, but. Between the extension and the uh, swivel socket, renders most impacts about worthless. like that huh I think we can leave all the park and brake mechanism alone it looks like the the uh, bearing will clear it she has four-wheel drive so we'll have to take the nut off and then I think we can get to all the bolts on the back side yeah I think the axle clears them shouldn't be too big a deal I guess the only big deal will be getting it off we don't have much to press against as far as using our last chance first try hub pusher. Maybe, maybe we can knock a stud out and catch just the edge of this here and crack her loose. So let's go grab a 30 something. Looks like maybe a 32. Oh yeah, first try. 32 it is. Hoping the axle just pushed in there. But it didn't. We'll give it a couple light taps. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So that pushes in nice and easy. Let's go on the back side. They're probably, if I had to guess by feel, 17, eh, maybe 14. I'm thinking at one point in their life they were 14. However, they look like they're about a 15 and a half right now. So that's uh, gonna be a difficult deal here because you guys are in the optimal spot. Phillips head doesn't work regardless. I think he's a stone down below this one. There we go. we get some of the junk out of here. We'll try to beat a socket on it. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I can do this with you in a way, but we'll give it a try. Nope, negative. You gotta move. You guys are going to have to use your imagination. Imagine me putting a socket over top of that bolt that's all rusty. I'm trying to get it to go on there. Hooray! I think we did it. Might have to grab a different impact though. I just wanted that to wiggle on here. Let me get a different gun. 
three eighths might not be able to cut the mustard here. Or maybe it will. So there's one bolt. I just have to do that four more times, folks. We just gotta beat it on there and undo them. I mean, the heads on them are still good. It's just, they're a little on the crusty side. So I took the last bowl out. I saw the whole thing get wiggly. Like, what do we add to that, huh? It's probably still stuck in the backing plate, but I thought that was kind of weird. The whole shebang came loose, because that never happens. We need to be a little careful. I don't know how the speed sensor is set up in this one. I don't know if it reads off the axle. I just don't want the axle coming ahead. We do have a parking brake cable hooked to this, but that's it. So we might be able to stick this right to the... Okay, speed sensor reads off the axle. Look at that. It's not every day you get this lucky in the PRNY. <laughs> wow, that's it. My life is complete. I was planning on waging war with this fella, but now we don't have to. Um, it's kind of interesting. It doesn't really set into the knuckle. It looks like it sits just on the edge perhaps. Yeah, it does. It has just a very slight taper. So that's why it wasn't seized. That's really cool. Great design, Hyundai. You can see it only touches just a little bit around, just enough to center it. It's weird, it doesn't really sound too awful gritty once we have it out, but boy, you spin it with the tire on, man, it's loud. And uh, what was I saying? Oh, and then the backing plate here is quite thin and just barely grabs it. So that's fantastic from a seizure standpoint. And same with the speed sensor. Speed sensor is flush mounted, re reads off the tone ring on the axle, so you don't have to worry about the axle coming out and busting off your speed sensor. The whole thing's great. Imagine how great it would be if domestic automakers did stuff like this. <laughs> We'll spritz a little fluid film on here now that she's cleaned up. Uh, this might be kind of a pain in the neck to put together because we're gonna have to reach back here, give that a little bit of a twirly to get it started because I'm imagining everything's gonna fall apart a little too easy. I'm gonna get an extension and a 14 mil here. See if I can't reach it from back here. That way we can give it a twirl and kind of hold it together until we get back there to put it together. You got to hold it together, man. So there's that. I don't believe there's an upside down. Nope, it looks the same. Sometimes these are slightly offset. You got to be careful. Usually, I mean, if it is, usually you can't put it together wrong anyway. So and I forgot to lube the splines. We'll lube these splines. Not that we'll ever see this car again in our life, but this car is going bye-bye. He was hesitant to fix it because he just uh, traded it in, so to speak, I guess. He ordered a new car like six to eight months ago, and then it's supposed to be here soon, so he'll be getting rid of this. So he was a little apprehensive to fix it. However, I told him his wheel would fall off and might kill everyone. So then he decided to fix it. I didn't tell him that. I let customers make their own decision. Actually, he was sick of hearing the noise he told me. I guess it's gonna make it worse for a little while.
Bad inside face of the rotor here. Hi Luna, come here kitty. What's the matter, pumpkin? Huh? Where are you? What's the matter, sweetheart? Huh? Mommy's looking for you. I hear her. You need to go, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. baby. She can't. She's looking for you. <laughs> she knows I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Where were we? I'm gonna put our rotor on. We need to torque the hub nut, but I'm gonna take and put the brakes on just because we're right here. So put these on. Slightly a bit above finger tight or torque to spec, which we'll come back and do. You guys know that. We'll slip our brake pads. Caliper, caliper bracket all back on here. Get the bolts lined up in it. There's that, we'll find a torque wrench here. Got it. Couple of doggies on the bottom. Torque setting number three on this one. Couple of doggies on the top. Let's look that up. Woo! Just barely got it. 210 FTLBF. Get that smack back in there. There we are, folks. Let's throw the wheels on and take it for a shakedown. There you have folks, wheel bearing on the back of your Hyundai uh, Santa Fe, uh, the 2017 model. Don't know what engine's in it, but it's huge. You can rest assured of that. Uh, went pretty easily. I know uh, you guys were hoping for a fight and I was too, but there wasn't. It uh, gave up. Threw up the white flag immediately after taking the bolts out, which is kind of unusual here in the PRNY, as you all know uh, from watching our channel. So, there's nothing more to say other than to say I'll see you in the comment section. Questions, concerns, the Insty, the Facebook. You guys know what to do. Just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.